we have a E-Tech 3 AM unboxing today. So, yeah. First off, I'd like to go over the case. The case is really nice. Zippers are really sturdy if you're not messing around with them too much. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Nice hard case. And uh, let's go right in the box. Zippers are nice, of course. There you go. So first off, my first impressions on the gun are, you know, it's pretty sturdy, pretty heavy, feels good in your hands, um, it's the AM model, and uh, it has a few upgrades on it, I bought this used, by the way, and so yeah, I bought it used, and it came with some upgrades. One of the upgrades is the Pootie Hush Bolt, right there, Hush Bolt model. Second upgrade would be the Zig 2 Rammer, I'm not going to get out right now, but it's a Zig 2, right in here, so yeah. And then the third upgrade would be the mortar board, right there. That can focus, I don't know. Alright, so those are the three upgrades on it. Next one I'm trying to get for it, it would be the, uh, would be the, would be the, whatever, the new ASA for it. Uh, so what comes in the box would be the Plenty Clips Grease, which is, uh, always good to use on a Plenty Clips gun. And, yeah. One thing that, a couple things I did not get in the gun would be the parts kit. I have to order my own parts now. Another one would be the barrel sock. Unfortunately, I didn't get that or the parts kit, but whatever. Got a good deal on it. Another nice feature of the Planet Clips gun would be the Planet Clips Allen keys. Allen keys are really nice. Let's see if we can get one out. They're all ball, uh, ball pointed. They'll have a uh, so you can go at it, I believe, a 90 degree angle. They're all nice like that. Come in a nice, uh, nice case. Add some torque. Nice plastic case, hard plastic. Comes with the uh, shaft four barrel, reverse threaded. Get and get this. And I'll put this barrel on again for you guys. Looks. Alright, so let's push that aside. Oh, another thing I wanted to go over would be the E Tech 3 manual. It's really nice. It goes over some things that aren't really even needed to go over, like the, the immortal board, which does not come stock with the E Tech 3 AM or LT. Includes that in there, and then so this is the gun itself, and um, nice shot four barrel, good trigger. Uh, needed some adjustment right out of the box, but I got that done. No side to side play, whatever, uh, whatsoever. And the ASA needs to be redone. I'm gonna get the um, pops ASA for sure in a in a little while. And uh, yeah, regs nice. What else? I have not actually gotten a chance to shoot this gun. Uh, I need to take it out to the field and shoot it. So, uh, yeah. And I'll either have a shooting video up, if I get a GoPro or not, of the gun. Or I will have another review after I've shot it and used it for a few games. And uh, that will probably be, I don't know, in about a couple weeks. gun right here and so just give you kind of the dimensions of uh with a tank and a hopper on it that's kind of what it is and uh, another thing we had to mention was the clamping feed neck clamping feed neck is really nice all metal on the AM model and that's about it uh, more videos coming soon if I get a GoPro and more reviews of my stuff and maybe a gear bag video coming up uh, thanks for watching, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and...
Here's my setup. E-Tech 3 with a die rotor. Ninja 6845. And that's it.